Let me tell you a story. There was once a father and a son. The father was an electrician, a hard working man. But he was also a very difficult man. He had a son who absolutely loved to draw. The son was also a fun loving boy. But he always had problems with his anger. One minute he'd be all smiles and the next he'd be upset. One day a girl that he liked followed him home after school to find out why he was always so upset. When the girl got to the son's house, she waited near an open window. After a few minutes, the father came home. Then a few moments later, the girl started to hear yelling. And soon after that, she could hear items breaking. She then noticed the boy go to his room. The girl crept closer and looked inside the boy's room through another window. What the girl saw shocked her. She saw several holes around the boy's room. These holes were made by the boy's fists. The sun would punch holes in his room after getting an argument with his father. Before the girl could say anything, the dad came in and he and his son continued to fight. The girl knew that the son got his anger from his father. A few days later, during lunch at school, the father showed up because he found a note from his son's teacher requesting a parent-teacher interview. The father found his son sitting in the lunchroom and he immediately began to make a scene. A crowd of students soon formed around as the boy and his father began to argue. The father started to verbally and physically assault his son, calling him names. The son started to cry, but his anger began to rise. Finally, the son grabbed an iron thermos from the lunchroom and used it to smash his father's head in. He continued to do so until there was nothing left but a bloody mess. The crowd went silent. The police soon arrived and assessed the scene. Since the son was 18 years old, he was charged with murder and went to prison. We create our own demons. The father and his rage created a monster. And that monster went on to do horrible things. Subconsciously, we may not know what we are doing to the people around us until it's too late. You too could be creating monsters with your words. So now I ask you this. Who are you helping? Who are you hurting? And what are you creating? Face your inner demons. If you don't, 
you will create a demon in someone else. And the last thing that this world needs is more hate.